So what is going on everybody? Today we actually got to see the full season trailer for season 11, Reign of Fire, and we actually got to see the live stream. If you guys haven't checked that out, highly recommend checking that out. Go to my live stream tab, click on it, and we watch the whole live stream together. But today what we're going to do now is we are going to be talking about the season 11, Reign of Fire, the roadmap, right? Because currently we know that we have target chunks and then we have chunks league and then we have the global event polarity switch. It looks like all three global events we've seen in the past, reanimated Hollywood and golden bullet. Then we have target Bantam at, on, in March. And then in April we have target cursed and then we have target auntie. Doesn't that look like Ash from rainbow six siege? Yes, it does. Right. But along with each one of them, we have right the apparel event. The crazy thing about it is they don't have any dates. Typically, they, we usually see like dates set for each one of these. So they were a little, they, they kept from putting the dates, but you do see that there is necessary tactics apparel event, which we got to see a little bit during the live stream. And we'll see some more pictures in just a second. Then you notice we have stove pipe, which is the prime target. I guess the main reason they did no dates is because that way they can't, it can't be delayed, right? So, but we don't know that in March, uh, February, March, April, and May, that is a time frame for each target. Now, if you go down, we know we have new gear, new weapons, new talents coming. Season 11 comes with an array of new weapons and gear. This includes one gear and one brand set, one new exotic weapon and two named weapons and a bunch of new weapons and gear talents. And finally, season 11 is bringing back a fan favorite, Division 1, the Ninja Bike Messenger Bag backpack which i'm excited for we found out that it has three cores and i think this is going to be a very good competitive piece for a lot of your builds now we know the new exotic weapon i actually like how it looks definitely pretty clean now the talent on this one it tags enemies when in scope maximum 10 killing any marked target with the headshot applies 10 seconds burn status effects and gives a 50 percent 20% PVP modes, speed movement. So 50% those enemies won't be moving. That's pretty cool. It decreases on all other targets. And then look, cooldown is 30 seconds. Killing another enemy with a headshot shortens the cooldown for 10 seconds. Targets are marked after two seconds in scoped. So it's actually a pretty cool, pretty cool weapon. I would love to see some builds around this one. So hopefully um, we'll, we'll test it once we get our hands on it tomorrow once this patch does go live we keep going down we know the new exotic gear ninja bike messenger bag slots in with any equipped gear set and brand set item to fulfill the requirement towards unlocking gear sets bonus allows you to unlock bonuses for multiple sets simultaneously so that means you can have four pieces of any brand set and then obviously you're gonna have that second p the the second stat unlocked pretty cool same goals for the gear sets uh, excited for this one think it's going to be a game changer for builds at least allow players to try different builds and and think outside the box unlike right now a lot of the builds are i mean there's a lot of builds but i feel like the ninja bike is going to bring back a lot of different things now we know we do have the new gear set called hot shot gear set the two piece equips a 30 percent marks for rifle damage plus 30 percent stability three piece equipped gives 30 percent headshot damage and then the four piece equipped gives you a new access to a new unique talent now this talent is called Talent Headache. First headshots with the Marksman Rifle will increase next headshot by 20%. Second consecutive headshot with the Marksman Rifle will give you 10% armor. If at full armor, it will give a bonus armor max of 50% of the current armor value. I like that, that that's gonna create some tanky players. Third consecutive headshot with refill magazine and the fourth consecutive headshot forward agents will get all three bonuses for each consecutive headshot kill. Missing a headshot will reset the cycle. So if you can hit headshots, this is going to be something you're going to enjoy. Now the chest and backpack bonuses, chest talent um, increases bonus armor from 50 to 100. And then the backpack agents can miss a headshot before resetting the cycle. So there you guys go. I think the backpack might be beneficial for this, but most people are going to go for that damage rate. We keep going down and you can look, there's a new brand set. The one piece gives 15% headshot damage. Two piece gives that 15% marks from rifle and the three piece gives you that 10% status effects. So it seems like that goes really well with the new um, the new sniper or marks from rifle that there is. Now the talent on the, the name talent, talent perfect trauma applies blind to enemy hit in the head, cool down 20 seconds, applies bleed to any enemy hit in the chest, cool down 20 seconds. And then obviously the backpack, talent perfect creeping death, causing status effect on an enemy has a chance to spread the same status effects to the nearest enemy within 10 meter radius can only occur once every 10 seconds. So talent perfect creeping death 
and talent perfect trauma so two new perfect talents coming now this is the hot shot gear set this is what it looks like if you were to equip it pretty pretty standard nothing too crazy it looks like a, sni a sniper like a marksman rifle type um gear set we keep going down new name weapons they have the police 686 magnum which is going to be the profit killing an enemy with a headshot guarantees that the next shot would be a critical headshot exclusive for pistols rifles and marksman rifles talent perfectly determined and then they have per um the marksman rifle with the g28 called the relic same thing and then they have just a regular talent determined which you're going to be able to get so a new talent um killing enemy with a headshot grants the next shot will be guaranteed headshot so there you guys go so dr holmes exotic rifle is being balanced it says armor repair kits dropped upon killing a marked target will be um, picked up automatically and will no longer drop at the target's position which is cool now it changes from 15 percent armor region to 10 percent armor region so now the armor repair kit dropped upon killing a marked enemy will automatically be picked up so that's a lot better i want to see how this works definitely better than what we currently have now they did some quality life changes for pvp the lord the skill tier players will be able to use jammer um skill against skill tier three levels above their oath so if you have one skill tier you can go up to three if you have three you can go up to six so there you go you can no longer have one and disable anybody at four five or six right yeah so three levels above you can jam them anything below that so people will have to think how can they get a yellow core well i mean with the ninja bike you already get one core right so it's going to be something that i can see players really taking advantage of um and really getting to at least that three level especially if they want to run a jam pulse exotics that are otherwise exclusive to specific sources are available at random contamination drops in the dz exotic weapons that can be received as random loot drops after killing enemies in the dz the ravenous the big horn and legal bow we already know this three new exotics well three raid exotics going to the dz now but the regulus is not there so you have the ravenous the big horn and the eagle burr now in the dz now ui they added inventory pouch space ar on the backpack to allow players to see the remaining space of their inventory after looting an item added a check mark display on the current loadout equip to find a check mark go to the menu inventory press h for loadouts the cash is tab from the apparel event menu will display ongoing apparel event cash image when no apparel event is running, the default cash box will be displayed. Season tile background will display the current ongoing event and then add an item dis um, type display icon to the apparel cash reveal button. So small UI changes, nothing I, 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 I've ever noticed. So yeah, so some, some small changes you'll see. Other changes, gear and talents fixed with the focused chest talent not being triggered when aiming with the Dr. Holmes exotic rifles or the o, um, o carol named marksman rifle so now you can use that talent with the focus fix the issue with the dr holmes rifle deconstruction not giving exotic components so they fixed that fix the issue where changing between two loadouts of gear sets that have at least two distinct item pieces nullify the effect of the set bonus the twinkling lights talent from o carol marksman rifle can no longer be added to the recalibration library at the recalibration station so it should have never been a thing but now they took it off uh, fix the issue where the mark of sledgehammer perfect sledgehammer talents applying the movement speed debuff to the player so there you guys go and then for the expertise tabs they had a few fixes here that i'll let you guys just glance over nothing too crazy but like small little fixes that um that people have complained about and said in the past now for pvp they fixed the issue where players could enter both the invaded and not invaded dark zone with no other players around by turning rogue just as they were about to log out so there you go that is not like before you get to have a solo dz you can no longer do that now on to some of the better stuff um the apparel event new season means new vanity items necessary tactics i actually like this this theme of apparel event is camouflage and just take a look at this guy right here this hat this one actually looks pretty cool definitely um excited for the ones that i got to see so there were i think there were four different tactical um outfits that we could you see we got to see during the live stream so yeah this is just one of them obviously it's concept art but definitely look pretty cool i like this chess piece i think it's going to be a cool one for a lot of us who've been looking for a little bit more tactical themed um seasonal pass now for the season pass the optimal season pass is available for a thousand premium credits 9.99 or your regional equivalent right 
Um, we keep going down and we got to see the busy day, which is a weapon skin. So we also saw that on the live stream. So there you guys go right there. In addition to the season pass can gain access to a follow on premium track, 12 new weapon skins, busy day being one of them, 11 new gear dies, two new face masks and one available as a level hundred reward. So there you go. And then you can see the waffle, which is another weapon skin. And that was about it. It says, keep an eye for the known issues to be released on the known issues board. So you guys can go there. So not a crazy amount of stuff, but enough to keep us busy. So what I'm excited for most likely guys, I'm telling you guys right off the bat is the Ninja Bike Bag. Excited to see what kind of builds we can actually do with this. I actually like how it looks too. So very excited for this. Um, and I do like the, um, the stories behind the Manhunt. So usually, until we get to stovepipe the main prime target that's where i get to dive into the lore of the game but now kind of just gotta knock these out um and that's about it excited for this one um it's been a while since we've had something to do so at least now we can grind this um as we play other games right but that is what's coming with season 11 remember the new game mode isn't coming this season they say season 12 i think that's what they said during the well, it's going to be year five, season one. I think they're changing up the numbers, but the next season is when most likely that game mode will come out. But that's going to wrap up the video here, guys. Let me know what you guys think. I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, ain't nothing but skills out. Take it easy, everybody.